up everybody? It is the weekend and I hope you're all doing well. I have some mods today planned. Some simple ones, gonna be doing a Maxton rear lip diffuser and just some emblem stuff. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get to these mods and see what we got today. Check it out, Maxton rear lip. This is a really cheap diffuser. I didn't want anything over the top or gaudy or expensive. And this one's just gloss black. We'll open it up here in a second. But it's got all the instructions and some hardware in there. It's wrapped up real nice. As far as the emblems I'm going to be rocking today, I do have an HKS intake filter. I have an HKS intake filter, so I want to throw this emblem just on my intake box. You all voted for this. I asked if you guys thought I should do this, and you all voted for it, so I got one. And then again, something else we voted for on my Instagram, guys. I got the new front emblem since the old one I had broke. And this one only has one mounting piece. Let's take a look at this. This one has just a single mounting point. And it seems to be made of a more durable plastic than the last one. And I like the fact that it's black right in the center. Kind of give it a little more character and not, you know, blend in better with the grill. Harbors in here. I'm gonna probably use the black one for my old one that I already have painted, or I'll just paint this one again real quick. I just picked this up on eBay. Just something cool. 3M tape, you know, just add on to my intake box since I have the HKS filter. I just, you know, just want to rep. Add a little bit of style to the inside of my engine bay. And then this is gonna go on the rear. So we're gonna run outside and get this all installed. I haven't seen anything on how to do this max and lip, so you know we'll just we'll stumble through it and figure it out, and then you guys can see how to do it. And if you guys want to get that lip or rear diffuser, you can do it yourself. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna go grab the broken one of these, and I'll show you that too. Okay, so on the new one, I thought I had the back piece that I painted last time, but I can't find it. Here's the old one that broke. The W somewhere in my front grill, just somewhere in there. I have no idea. See, this one had that piece and there was another one on the W. So this was like a two piece mounting system. This one seems a lot more high quality and yeah, the gloss is even better on it. So this seemed a better finish. So I'm gonna take that little metal piece in the back, little tab for screwing it on, bolting it on. And yeah, we're just gonna paint it gloss black real quick and then get to this. Okay, here's the paint. Gloss black, quick dry, dries in 15 minutes. And there's one flaw with this. Look at that tiny eight millimeter. The other one uses a wing nut so you can use your fingers to tighten it down. I do not exactly know how I'm gonna work this one in. So since that eight millimeter is so tight, here's what I'm gonna try instead. I just had one of these laying around, painted it black, and it is exact size. So we're gonna try to screw this on with our fingers instead of trying to fit a wrench behind the grill there. All right, there it is. It just sucks having to spin that thing. It's awful. I don't know how you would do it with that really tiny one. I guess if you take your bumper off and do it that way, it'd be easy, but that's a lot of work just to get this little emblem on. So if, this would be a cool mod to do if you are gonna take your bumper off. Um, I'm just gonna tighten it down a hair more, but that's basically where I wanted it to sit. Cool, so here's my engine bay so far. I've just got that Grimsby decal. Parents have already got that. This is where I want to put the emblem. Just thinking just something simple like that. Maybe, I don't know, probably just center. Probably just center like that or maybe even like that. Yeah, can't figure it out. I'm not sure where I want to put it. Got my P&L sticker over here <laughs> on the bash guard for your high pressure fuel pump and TGV deletes. So yeah, no, nothing crazy in here. Cool, so I just ran a line across the top so I could kind of line it up. Um, I don't want to do it too far to that way. I want it to be center. 
parking right there. So we gotta take this off and then be able to put this one on. So usually I use dental floss. <laughs> I just have these dental things right now. Cool, there it is. Got the old one off. I'm just gonna thumb all this off now. Cool, now we're just gonna clean that up real quick. So real quick, that's gonna be perfect. Obviously, it's straight, so see how it's all wonky? You just kinda wanna put it up against your knee and I'm gonna give it a little bend. Just the slightest bend. Just a hair more. Okay, now once you have it perfect, it'll basically not wobble anywhere. It's just gonna be on there. It's not gonna wobble left to right. It's just perfect. So I'm gonna undo this 3M and get it on. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thanks for voting on that, guys. That looks sick. Alright y'all, I've got it taken out of the package and when you look, look up close there is a piece of film around it so if you see all these scuffs on yours, you're like oh man it's scratched up or whatnot. It's just a piece of film, you can peel that off after you mount it or right before you mount it. So let's see what we have in here. Stigger hardware and it just looks like they <laughs> wow. Check fitting, install, drill holes, insert bolts into drilled holes, and washers, tighten the nuts. That's it. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. There's no template or anything with this. So this should be fun. When you look down here, there's two pop clips. One here by the fuel tank and then one over there. I'm gonna pop those two out first. And what we wanna do is drill a hole here and there, that way we can mock it up. But already, I'm gonna run into a problem because as you can see, see how these divots are supposed to line up here? My metal finisher is kind of pushing on that over there, so I might have to cut that to really make it fit properly. We'll see here. When you look at this, there's the divots. That's kind of how it's gonna line up with your bumper. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just mock this up. Okay, so after some careful deliberation and a bunch of test fitting over the last like 45 minutes to an hour, I've realized, I realized this isn't gonna work for me. It looks awesome. But to get it to fit right, I would have to drill so many holes and it's still not gonna fit right just because the tolerances in here are so tight. This, this piece is truly in the way of it sitting flush. And I, I don't wanna rock anything that's like half ass. So I'm gonna give it to my buddy, Eddie. Yeah, so Eddie brought over his STI. And we're gonna throw the max in lip on his car because he doesn't have the exhaust finishers in the way. But first things first, we're gonna do a Subi Speed tail light right here, or third brake light. And I'm adding some Royco sound deadening for him because he's got basically straight pipes on this thing and he needs some help in here. You got the OEM roof rack with a Thule bike rack. It's dope, and then he's the rear lip is gonna match his new maxed in front lip, which he put some spacers in there. They're like skateboard bushings from <laughs> some trucks, but it looks cool. It's got a little extra gap. So we got the crew hanging out. 
for wiring up. Or we're trying to figure out how to wire up his third brake light. Trying to find the schematics. We still need <laughs> some wiring with that. The spat looks dope. It's gonna look so good with his setup. Check this out. Well, first, sound deadening is coming along awesome in here. But yeah, that's gonna look sick. And then I'm about to get the gas tank sound deadening like we did on mine. And we have the back seats pretty much done too. And we also got down here under the exhaust and the hollow points. And we did the shields just like we did on my car. So they're gonna be a lot, a lot less rattle, a lot less vibration. It's gonna sound awesome. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to find a different rear lip that works for me. And this is what happens guys, sometimes you just modify things, they don't fit right. You can't tell until you get them, get them you know, right in front of you and you're actually putting your parts together and then you realize you're like, oh man, it's not gonna work. So anyways guys, stop at this video short here today. Um, please check me out on Instagram. I have some links down below. And yeah, please drop some comments, subscribe down below. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you next time. Peace.